The murder trial of Alex Murdoch continued with courtroom watchers debating the impact of yesterday's testimony of the only surviving Murdoch's child, son Buster. Meantime, a Netflix series on the family has been released with a revealing perspective through uh, the eyes of a former girlfriend of slain son Paul Murdoch. She was the girlfriend of murder victim Paul Murdoch. 23-year-old Morgan Dowdy is featured in a new three-part Netflix documentary about the headline-making Alex Murdoch murder trial. It was very normal for them to be drinking and just have a lot of alcohol, like, always stocked in the house. She also says she had a turbulent relationship with Paul. Alcohol definitely changed Paul. We called Paul Timmy when he was drunk. Meanwhile, Buster Murdoch's testimony at his father's murder trial is a hot-button topic today. I know a lot of people think he wasn't that emotional. I think for the jury, that's going to matter much less than the fact that this son, who's lost his mother, his only brother, supports his father. Seeing him on the witness stand, knowing he's sitting there to defend his dad, is powerful. Alex Murdoch sure looked pleased. He gave Buster a consoling pat as he passed him in court. There's also reaction today to this eyebrow-raising moment at the trial when Murdoch's attorney, Dick Harputlian, pointed a weapon at the prosecution team. <laughs> Tempting, but, um... <laughs> oh, my stars! So everybody laughed it off, but I didn't think yeah. it was very funny. The defense is arguing that at six foot four, Murdoch is too tall to be the killer. This forensics expert says the gunman had to have been much shorter. They would be somewhere between 5'2 and 5'4. That is correct. So is it a slam dunk case for the prosecution, or is the defense raising enough reasonable doubt? Starts to make me think a hung jury is an awfully serious possibility here. Closing arguments may begin as early as next week.